Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video with Zender Freemaker. Today we're going to talk about a game uh, which is about to get released uh, quite soon. Uh, the game is Star Wars Outlaw and I've been watching a few videos and I just thought I'd just express my thoughts um, here on the channel about the game and what I think of it personally. Visually it looks fantastic but what is the game well the game is a not single player rpg okay it's going to be available on ps5 xbox pc and okay i have been a star wars fan since i was a kid and i am very very passionate about it but of course in recent years you know we all know what's happened to star wars and i don't want to get into the politics i'm just we all know the story there but this game doesn't really appeal to me i mean i will play it eventually and i'm going to let it launch and then when it comes down really low in price which i think it will probably within six months uh, i'm just going to snap it up and then i'll play it but if you think I'm going to play this game on launch, no. And I'll tell you why I, won't, I wouldn't. Uh, this game is basically not an open world game like, let's say, Starfield, which is, which is in a different category altogether. This kind of reminds me a little bit, and I didn't want to say this before, and I'm only saying it now because I've seen other people say this as well. It's a bit like GTA, but even then... I'm prepared to say it's not like GTA either, but uh, the similarities will be there. So you could say, I, what I'm saying is it's basically a knockoff, okay? Um, will the game itself be enjoyable to play? Yeah, I mean, I've seen some of the gameplay footage and it is just basically a straightforward narrative story and you just play through the levels and that's it. There may be slight elements of open world, but um, I don't think there's going to be as much as, you know, you may think there will be. I don't think there is. I, that's my personal opinion. I haven't played the game. That's just a personal opinion. So I don't want to, to offend anybody. So please don't get offended. Um, I mean, also, one of the things which is kind of bothering me is that the game is called Star Wars Outlaws. All right, so of course, this is set between Empire Strikes Back and I think Return of the Jedi. And so, you know, of course, this is just, this is the main protagonist, if you want to call her, or the main character of the game. But the question is why? Why not have different characters we can choose from? I mean, this game isn't out yet, so this may happen, but I don't think it will. And again, this is Disney, you know, um, pushing its agenda that, you know, hey, it's a female character. We must show strong female characters. Well, why not just have an alien, you know, uh, and also, also have a man, you know, character. So we should have that choice, but they didn't. I don't think they've done that. I would like to ask Ubisoft, yeah, that when they originally designed this game, was the character originally a female or was it something else? Or was it Disney that told you to change the character to a female or you went with the female character originally in the first place, which I doubt. Um, and I would like to find out. So if any <laughs> any member of Ubisoft who's involved in this game, yeah, leak it to us. <laughs> Let us know if, the, if what I'm saying is true or not. Okay then, so this is how I see the game playing. Um, okay, you're going to carry out some tasks. Get to a location. Beautiful cutscene. Uh, get paid for the job. And then with those credits, you could probably get some upgrades and then go to the next uh, story, basically the next task. Um, you know, fight in space, maybe do a little bit of looting. Um, but I don't think you'll be able to move around in the way you may 
think what open world really means so yeah there may be you may have the freedom to you know do some things but not as much as you'd like to so i think that open world uh will be restricted and quite rightfully so because this game is just a straightforward story there's no you know you're you're not going to be trading and or setting up uh, you know resource um, you know fields or <laughs> you know that kind of stuff just like in other games like like for example Starfield when it launches so yeah so this is kind of a straightforward game nothing more nothing less with maybe with a little bit more freedom I am a hardcore a Star Wars fan and even though I've kind of been put off by it really I mean I, I mean when the new Star Wars movies that are about to come out I'm not even going to go and watch it and because it's just not going to be Star Wars it's it's all about ideology and some agendas that they're going to put out there and this game again is pretty much saying the same thing uh you know they you know it's again it's just one character I mean I mean I'm, I can't be the only person thinking this you know uh on the planet and if I am buddy I'm all alone on that um but uh, the game I think will uh, be okay I think what's going to happen when this game and they, they will just finish this game within what probably I don't know 20 30 hours of playing someone will you know and I think a lot of players are going to be pissed that they've been taking down the garden path again and that's why I'm never going to buy this game when it launches you know it's going to cost what 50 60 quid easy you know and I'm just going to wait until you know Steam puts a sale on and it's like a fiver and they'll do that what well, probably within I don't know six to eight months because this game it, it's it's going to be good to play. I mean it's not multiplayer, so it's not like you know, you know it's not like be like say Battlefront three or oh, sorry Battlefront two. Uh, I keep thinking there's going to be a Battlefront Battlefront three, but we all know that's not going to happen. Well, if it does, it's a long way down the road. But uh, visually, the the game is 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 fantastic. I'll, I'll give it, you know, full marks for that. Um, Story-wise, well, it's pretty predictable, really. I mean, you, you only have to look at, you know, it, just the trailers or some of the gameplay, and it's pretty much going to be the same thing throughout the entire game, right to the very end. Uh, of course, th this will lead to a sequel. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> definitely there'll be a sequel on this one. I don't even have to play the game to tell you that. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the characters in the game of Star Wars Outlaws. Um, of course, the two main characters is Kay and of course her sidekick, which is that like little fuzzy pet. Uh, I think it's called Nyx. Now, the the sidekick, I wanna just start off with uh, this character. It is, I think the word is adorable to look at. Um, it does remind me of uh, a character from another movie called uh, Lilio and Stitch. Uh, and where the alien, you know, crashes to Earth and, of course, ends up being adopted by the family as a, pretending to be a dog, so to speak. And, of course, this Nyx character's got this kind of, like, I don't know what they, ears, tentacles, um, you know, it, it looks it looks very, very cute. And it does all the little bit of sneaking around, uh, you know, stealing little objects here and there, flipping switches etc etc and i think that's pretty cool that's a that's a cool element to the game i like that of course i can't help thinking that this is the same thing in fallen order and jedi survivor so definitely there is influence uh from those two games definitely in this game star wars outlaws the main character of course k uh, a female character of course a strong female character uh you know of course does all the the main stuff the fighting, the flying, call it what you want. Here's a little side note. In the game, and I'm willing to bet my treacle tart, that a scene will come up where, uh, you know, Kay will get paid for a job and then she'll say, hey, you're not paying me enough. Or, you know, why should I get paid this when you paid that guy more? I bet that will come up. I'll bet my treacle tart that will happen. And okay, fine. But again, I want to go back uh, to the point I made earlier in the video about why it's just one character. Why not be able, why not have the choice of choosing different characters? I think this that would have made the game 
a lot more interesting. I just personally think that having a whole bunch of characters that you can choose from would have made the game a lot more interesting. Uh, the dynamics of the game more interesting as well. Of course it means more work for massive entertainment, but yeah, hey, you know, when you're making a game like this uh, and you're making such big claims, it, it demands that kind of um, content. Uh, because, you know, the game is called Star Wars Outlaws. It is plural. I think it's worth mentioning that there, I think there is a third character, uh, which I, th I hope in the game that you'll be able to play. And that's the droid, uh, which is kind of, it's called like a, a BX series droid commando, you know? Um, I mean, looking at the droid and we, with his chat, with his coat on, it is so cool to look at. I mean, I, you know, if this was one of the main characters in the game, I would be playing uh, the droid you know it would be a lot of fun um but it, it, that's not the case but i do hope in the game that you do get a chance to play because it would be interesting and that would be very interesting so i think these are the three main characters i'm sure there'll be lots of other characters in the game but i don't think you'll be able to uh, actually become them if you wanted to um, but uh, I think even with these three characters, okay, fine. But uh, I doubt um, that will happen. I think just the main character will be, um, you know, Kay and, and Nyx. Um, this reminds me a lot like the story play, the story game from Battlefront 2. You know, again, another female character going, doing her missions and etc etc and it's going to be a lot like that so from that perspective or from that yeah from that angle uh i think it's going to be quite i think disappointing i think is the right word i think you're going to enjoy the game and then after you finish playing and you think to yourself you know what uh it doesn't feel right you know something it's going to be it, you're not going to be in a good mood. Let's put it like that. That's what I think anyway. Uh, because I'm I'm watching all the videos that are coming out. And I'm not going to make any more videos on this subject. Because I think one video is enough. Uh, because there really isn't going to be anything else to really add to that. Because I know it's going to be a straightforward. You know, you, 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 you have a cut scene. You get a mission to do. And then you're on the run. And then you're going to fight in space. And the space battles, they look okay. You know, I mean, they're going to be simple, nothing complicated. Um, and then you're going to do a warp jump and you're going to end up somewhere else. And it's it's going to be, and then another story <laughs> and then the next step. So it's a straightforward, you know, level, you know, you might as well just play Tomb Raider. You know, it's, it's really just that. Um, I don't think it's going to be as open world as everyone thinks it's going to be. And that's the honest truth. I could be wrong. And that's okay, you know, I don't mind being wrong in that, you know, the more this game, you know, when it's launched, has to offer, the better at the end of the day. And, you know, I have no qualms in putting my arms up and saying, hey, I was wrong. Seeing what I've seen so far, uh, I don't think I'm that far off. So uh, that's that. Now, the atmosphere of the game is, is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, the, 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 the music, the soundtrack they use, it kind of has that ting, gives you that tingly feeling. You know, and that's Star Wars. I mean, you know, this, this music, the original Star Wars music composed by John Williams, you can, you can hear the elements of all of that in this game. And uh, even just watching, uh, you know, the, the videos of uh, Star Wars Outlaws, and the music playing in the background was just, it was, you know, enjoyable. You know, the music really kind of puts you in the, in, in that zone. So it kind of immerses you, which is, which is, which is brilliant, really. You know, and I, I, again, I got no complaints there. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, you know, this is set between Empire Strikes Back and I think Return of the Jedi. So, you know, the bad guys are still, you know, Darth Vader, <laughs> you know emperor palpatine you know the all these characters will be there now funny thing is will we see these characters 
you know will we get to see say for example maybe elements of the of the death star you know the, the of course this would be i think the death star too and um, so you know there's there's all that as well and of course will the missions that uh, k takes part in will she be involved uh you know in relation to the rebellion or anything like that so yeah this 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 will be interesting to see now the environments are also quite outstanding i mean they've shown different environments not a lot because when you're launching a new game you don't want to just give everything away you want to keep things secret and that's okay i've got nothing wrong with that but what they've shown so far oh it's it's mind-blowing Oh, it's just, just really, really mind-blowing. And I'm extremely impressed. Now, I know this may offend a few Star Wars fans. Of course, it offends me as well, what I'm about to say. But uh, you may know that there's a video on my channel uh, about a game called Starfield. And if you look at that video and you see the clips from uh, Starfield, you'll notice that there are similarities between that and and this Star Wars and I actually mentioned it said it in the video I mean because because Starfield is so deep in in you know in in in, in the story and and of course that's truly open world uh, I said and I just just briefly commented that hey this is what Star Wars should have done close but no cigar and when I've looked at this game and all the videos out there, really, you're close, but no cigar. You know, this, like I said, this game will be enjoyable to play. I think, I think kids will, will cane this game within, I think, 30, 40 hours, maybe. I'm talking about a week. Remember, everything I've um, said is just uh, my perspective, my, my point of view, if I can coin that phrase. Uh, on on the game i think the game will be a good game to play it's visually beautiful the ships look great um i don't think it's going to be you know a chore for anyone to play um you know you won't have to th overthink too many things uh so yeah i mean i look i'm looking forward to it i i thought it was coming out this year i think it's launching in i think 2024 so it's, you know we're, we're like now halfway through uh 2023 so yeah, it's a long way to go still. I think, I reckon you're looking at maybe a new year release or something like that. I'm not too sure. Uh, but other than, I look forward to this game. I know there'll be a lot more videos uh, coming out uh, from uh, Ubisoft and they will show us. So yeah, well, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to them. I might do another video, but I doubt it. You know, I don't think it needs, um, you know, um, any more. I think I think I think I've said enough. I think I've said more than enough. Okay, that's it for now. And don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family, and support my channel. Ciao for now.